Welcome back everyone to my channel. I'm Lorena at Lorena Travel Mundo coming to you with another tour of Korea. This time I decided to let you guys tag along on my weekend in Seoul. This dish right here is called the Buki. And let me tell you, I was not a spicy kind of person before, but this is so good. I am in love with all spicy food now. <laughs> we booked two tours um, this weekend, and this first one was a tour about eating all different kinds of street foods, knowing their names, and pretty much just getting to be Korean for the day. William was our tour guy, and he took us to this market where she is in a Netflix show actually called Street Foods um, Asia, and she is famous for her hen cut knife noodles. They were so good. Her dumplings were amazing too. You must go here and try her noodles. Usually there is a huge line in order to get to um, her food, her stall, but you know, since right now we're on the whole coronavirus thing, there wasn't a lot of people out, but still we enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Williams took us to about uh, six, seven different stalls. And the first soup that we had also, the tteokbokki, was very filling also. So by the end of this tour, we were on a food coma. So it's well worth your money to book this tour with him. Um, I'm gonna put the details below on the description. And this is not sponsored, just letting you all know. I just really enjoy this tour and I think that you guys will too. For those of you following my channel, you know that I love, 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 love motels. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them, but I enjoy them. They are fun, they're unique, and they're economical. They're also very clean, you know, so for those people out there that are just like, oh, I don't know about that. Come on now, you guys. Every motel, every hotel, everybody do, you know, dirty things. <laughs> So this is no different and they clean them just like they do the other hotels. I think that you guys should definitely give it a try because many of them are just so unique and they provide so much more than a regular hotel. Look at all this stuff. Stuff. Toothbrush. Um, body soap. Of course, you know, it's not Korea unless you have your skincare for men and women. Even a woman cleanser. <laughs> and then of course, you know, little things like some ear, oh. hair tie, body sponge. This is like a racer. And a love motel wouldn't be complete without this. Condom. <laughs> Two of them. That won't be used. Obviously, because I'm married. Don't need that. This was our second tour slash experience that we booked the next day. And it was a Seoul Street food cooking experience. We wanted to learn how to cook some of the most sim uh, simple <laughs> Korean dishes. And so we met our host. His name is Young Rock. I think I said the name correctly. Please don't judge me. But he taught us how to make, again, the bokki. Also, the Korean glass noodle stir fry. And the kimbap, which is the most famous dish here. I mean, you can find them everywhere at the 7-Elevens, at the CUs. Those are really famous. Um, 
they remind me definitely of sushi rolls, but they're made a little bit different. We had so much fun in this class. Um, I learned so much and nowadays I'm cooking some of these foods at home. So it was a good thing. Medium heat. Medium heat. And as I said, spring onion first. Spring onion first. And you put everything in. <laughs> you might be cooked again. So you guys, we were in a new part of Seoul this time. We were in the Dongdaemong part, I guess. <laughs> I still don't know how to say the city names here. But this is known for the to be the fashion um, side of Seoul, like where they do all the fashion shows and things like that. So since we were here, we decided to go check out the DDP. It's a very famous museum. They have different sculptures, different light shows, things like that. And we were like, okay, well, let's go check it out. Nothing else to do this weekend. You know, we already had done our tour that day. But since the coronavirus is happening, a lot of the stuff was closed. But we were not disappointed because we found BTS Connect event. <laughs> we didn't even know this was going on to tell you the truth. Um, you had to make some type of reservation before you came to this. And uh, as you guys can see, now is closed. So you can't even go to it right now until this whole coronavirus thing is done. But we didn't make any reservations or anything like that. And the guys were like, well, you know, it's slow. So they were like, you want to come in? You want to come in? We were like, uh, yeah, why not? So... We decided to go in and check it out. Merci. Merci. So we wonder what is um what is green, yellow, pink? Um, what the pieces and um, why is it green and yellow and pink? Uh, what 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 um, what what they what do they mean to you? Um, I'm working with the uh, artificial colorant mist since quite a long time, '97, and I did the first the first colorant uh, for outdoor in Berlin uh, at the National Gallery, which was primary color, blue, red, and yellow. And the color, uh, the space, same for green, yellow, pink, the space is, is filled with an artificial mist. And the boundary fuse, the, the color fuse together, then we have a lot of uh, a different color between the, the three colors which are selected. So, um, as you mentioned, um, in your work, um, in your piece, um, any borders and boundaries they like disappear into the fog um yeah. or or your artificial light you made um so um it sounds like it seems like a it's like a big imagination um, without any limits or borders or boundaries and um we we go around the world and we try to go over all the boundaries like like nations um languages so um 
um, so you're an artist um, without the borders, we think. In my and artistic experience, I try to push the limit of the boundary of what it's possible to do and what is not possible. Okay. Thank you. Um, we're very happy to have a chance to work with you and we're very lucky to, because um, we could um, see you work and experience your work in Seoul. So see you in Seoul or, or France or yeah. whatever. Nice. Yes, uh, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure. I hope to meet you and we can make some time some Skype to share our experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, girl, it's so scary just to take a step. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I think the first was to take off my glasses because he was like, oh, my, my glasses are here. You can't even, baby, where are you at? I lost you. <laughs> Jay. Jay. Wait, where's the wall? Oh, I think I see the wall. Yeah, I think I see the wall. wall. Like, yeah, touch it. <laughs> Jay. This event was even about <laughs> when we went in but um, we did enjoy it a lot and if you guys are coming to Korea anytime soon and the event is back on I do suggest you go check it out because it is pretty cool um, but pretty much it was just about the different lightings um, that BTS my experience in like their um, stage and stuff like that and how you know I found out that you know the the mist and stuff the the little area we went to that we couldn't see anything was about you know breaking borders and feeling connected even though you can't see <laughs> This is it you guys this is the bts k beauty giveaway now i have all of these goodies for you guys look at this this right here is the bts with the card for you to store your contacts and i have different
different kinds of K-Beauty plus, you know, calendar, BTS, different little K-Beauty items. Nice little bag. These are for traveling. You can put anything in here. Like lotions, shampoos, conditioner, whatever you like. And of course, a poster. All of this for a lucky winner of the giveaway. Good luck, everybody. Now, the moment you guys have been waiting for. In order to win this BTS K-Beauty giveaway, you must do two simple things. First, you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Two, comment below what's your favorite BTS song. What's that number one song you love about BTS? That's it. Pretty simple. I will pick a winner on 320. Well, that is March 20th, pretty much next Friday. So good luck to everybody. After the BTS Connect event, then we decided to go into town and check out, you know, continue checking out Dong Moon District. And um, they had so much good stuff. Like they had tents set up. They're like this yellow tents and they have like all these fake purses like Gucci and stuff, which was freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I love that stuff. But we also went out to a restaurant and we ate some, you know, kimchi pancakes and drank some soju. And then we hit the karaoke. Oh my gosh, please, you guys, do not judge me or my husband or my friend. We were terrible, but we had a great time. This is actually our first time trying karaoke in Korea. <laughs> As you guys can see, we had a blast karaoke. <laughs> Way too much soju, guys. Way too much makgeolli. But we had fun. And of course, the next day, it snowed in Seoul. It was so beautiful. Oh, man. I didn't have my blogging camera like with me because I'm just afraid it's going to, you know, get wet. <laughs> it was too expensive. So I was doing it with my phone and I forgot to do it sideways. So sorry for the video. But um, at least I capture some of it. Uh, I love snow. It's just so magical. And we are coming to the end of this video now. I'm just going to leave you with this short little video of how the snow was coming down on our way home. I hope you guys enjoy this video. 
and that you've seen some stuff that you might want to do when you come to Seoul. Because, you know, that's what my blog is all about. Just information for all of you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!